Mounted on top of a recently cleared parcel of land at the very end of Northern and Burgess Key, this patrol base at Bacalar Chico is a significant development as it relates to the country's national security. I will remember when I became the Minister of National Security, it was only a few months after that our forces came under attack, came under fire here in almost this location and there were some civilian casualties. It highlighted for us the situation that was confronting us in Northern Ambergris Key. In August, ground was broken for the construction of the patrol base. With construction now completed, today Minister of National Security John Saldiver and Air Representative for Belize Rural South Manuel Hereda Jr. officially declared the base operational. The base comes after Coast Guard officers had to patrol the area on foot for the past three years to carry day-to-day -day operations. And it emphasized for us the need to have our presence here in this area in order to counter the activities that were taking place in this area and along the shores. The base is located a mile and a half from the Mexican border. The area is known as a major hotspot which criminals use as an avenue for cross-border criminal activities such as drug trafficking and weapons trafficking. There's a lot of activities, uh, criminal activities that takes place in, on this side of northern um, Burgess. Um, for years we've known that we've had to put a permanent presence out here. We have had a makeshift or temporary presence along here but we have now established a permanent presence and that we hope will help to curb some of the illicit activities that happen in this area. And the important thing about it is that the illicit activities that happen in this area really drives crime throughout the country. Whether it be Belize City or any other part of the country, a lot of what takes place here in Northern Ambergris drives the crime in the rest of the country. So do you believe that this base will deter these drug, international drug peddlers, because they can be persistent, when, especially when it comes to, to cocaine and this, what has been found in, in this area. We are very hopeful that it, it is going to curb the activities. We are very hopeful that it's going to discourage uh, these criminals from working in this area. Would the officers here work along with their Mexican counterparts? We always do. We do conduct uh, uh, operations with our Mexican counterpart every two months. We, we do um, patrols with them and we are in constant daily uh, communication with them with, with, with whatever information or intelligence they, we can share. According to Saldiver, the strategic importance of the base is also to provide stability for economic prosperity. The base includes basic amenities along with a 30 feet lookout tower. Officers are equipped with adequate communication equipment to keep in touch with HQ. The government invested more than $200,000 in the construction of the facility. Proper um, sleeping facilities, bathroom facilities. We, we, water is going to be a problem if we don't get a lot of rain. But for right now, we're going to depend on, on, on the rain to, to catch water for them. And so um, we, this is one of the uh, better facilities in terms of amenities. We believe um, the Coast Guard really leads the way in terms of providing proper accommodations for their people. And you have adequate communication devices? Yes, we have radio communication and we are in constant uh, touch with the base. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyto Novello.